Hi everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here on a fairly recent uh, home. This home was built 10 years ago and my company is doing a whole house remodel on this home. And one of the things that we're doing to increase the energy efficiency is to add a radiant barrier to the roof. A lot of times when I remodel, I really like to change the way the roof is insulated from a very traditional insulation on the flat to spray foam insulation at the rooftop. But when you do that, you also need to change out the, all the HVAC equipment at the same time because you need uh, to use power vented equipment and not uh, atmospherically vented equipment. So in this case, this house had some fairly new air conditioners. One or two of them was 10 years old, and they had one unit that was just recently added two years ago. So we didn't want to replace those out. Um, so we're doing everything we can to increase the efficiency without actually using spray foam. So in this case, this house had a, used to have a tile roof on the, uh, on the top of the roof, and we've switched to a metal roof now, and uh, we had no radiant barrier. You probably remember from uh, high school physics, there's three, tw there's three types of heat transfer conduction, convection, and radiation. Kind of like when you put your burrito in the microwave, if it's wrapped in aluminum foil, that burrito is not going to heat up because that aluminum foil, that silver coating, is repelling the radiation from your microwave. And a house can do the same thing with the silver uh, coating. However, that silver coating needs to have an air barrier uh, next to that, or, or air in there. It can't be sandwiched in between framing lumber or another section that's buried into a wall. So once you take a look up at the attic here, this is the, uh, what you're seeing here is the underside of the oriented strand board uh, roof decking. That's, that's the plywood sheathing that's used in the roof. And that's, that's the original 10 year old section of the roof. And we've changed the, uh, the look on the front of the house and where we've changed the roofing, you see that, that real silver looking decking there? That's uh, Louisiana Pacific Tech Shield. That's basically a four by eight sheet of oriented strand board that already comes with a silver foil facing on one side. So any part of the new roof that we framed, we framed that with that tech shield. But we wanted to bring that same radiant barrier to the rest of the house. And one way that we could do that without ripping out all the plywood was by spraying the roof um, with a product by Sherwin-Williams called E-Barrier. It's basically a, a, a silver paint that has some proprietary, um, I don't know if it's got a silver ion on there or what, but it's a very reflective material. And what my painter's doing, Mike's up there in the, uh, in the attic, I don't know if you can get any shots of him spraying, but he's basically spraying the underside of that oriented strand board and, um, and in effect turning that into a radiant barrier. So we're going to come back and insulate this on the flat. We're also going to do a really good job of air sealing where we've got recessed cans and other penetrations. In fact, we're going to be doing some spray foam up there uh, to make sure that those penetrations are fully sealed. We don't want any airflow through there. And we also changed out a lot of our ductwork. We had ductwork that was uh, 10 years old. So it was a loader R value. We're going up to much more modern R8 for our ductwork. And uh, between that combination, we're doing a lot for efficiency, even though we're not going to the ultimate, uh, which we would have liked to have done, but would have cost a lot more again because we would have needed to change out three HVAC units up there. Um, let's get one quick shot before we, uh, before we stop the camera of what that uh, paint bucket looks like. As I mentioned, it's Sherwin-Williams. It's, uh, it's not inexpensive, but it's not terribly expensive for what you get. Here's what the bucket looks like. It's called E-Barrier by Sherwin-Williams. It runs around uh, $60 per gallon. Uh, you can buy it in five gallon increments. And this house is, uh, gosh, what is our square footage? We're like 3,500 square feet or so on this first level. And we've got about a 612 pitch roof and it only took us, it looks like it's gonna take us about 20 gallons. So, you know, probably $1,200, $1,300 in materials. Not too bad, really, for a really good addition. This should save us at least 10, 15, maybe as much as 20 degrees in lowered attic temperatures on July day compared to not having the radiant barrier up in there in the attic. So it'll still be hot. My guess is this attic, when it's 100 degrees out, could still be 110, 120 up there, but it's not gonna get up to that 130, 140 mark that a lot of attics in Texas do. So please consider a, a radiant barrier for your house if you have a traditionally insulated house and you're not able to go to that uh, fully spray foam condition roof, which is really ultimate. Thanks everybody, have a good day. We'll see you next time.